yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and now let us try to add a batch count over here so the api is returning us the batch count like uh, how many items do we have in our card so it will give the count of that one so we can add a batch count over here and we don't have to add any logic for that one because the api is already returning us the batch count so let us go back to our project over here and before we can use the batch widget we have to enable the material tree over here so let's go to our uh, main widget over here and let us try to enable the material package or the material tree over here and in here if you take a look we have option to use a material right so use material color tree tree color so i guess there is an option and uh, let us try to take a look use material tree by default is a false so uh, let's go over here and let's say uh, use the material tree over here and let's enable this one to true over here and also the use material tree error color that will be of the true and uh, let us do the same thing for our uh, dark mood over here and that should be fine and once we have that uh, i guess it should be fine to make use of the batch widget and let us try to uh, reload or uh, let us try to run our application let's try to run the application and once the application is running let's go back to our dashboard over here and we need to add that particular batch count over here on the card section so for that let us create a new file over here and let's call this one as the uh, card badge batch uh, we get over here dot the dot file and uh, let us create a stateless uh, i guess we'll create a stateless uh, widget from here state uh, stateless widget and uh, let us give a name as a card badg uh, batch uh, widget over here and then let's import the material 5 package over here and from here i will replace this one with the uh con consumer widget con uh, S -U -M -E -R, consumer widget consumer widget is similar to the stateless widget but it comes from the uh flutter river port so we can make use of the uh, ref object so wid get -E widget ref over here and let's make use of the ref object and over here let's try to uh, ref dot the watch and i guess i need a variable to store that one that will be of the batch count and which is of equal to ref dot the watch and we will watch the uh, card controller over here card controller provider and i guess i'll just select uh, controller provider dot select the specific value that will be value dot the uh, batch count that we have and let's try to arrange this one properly from here let me close it over here and let's add the uh, comma over here so once we have that let's go over here from here let us return the uh, batch right so if you don't see this particular batch widget make sure you uh, upgrade your flutter as well as enable the uh, material 3 package make sure you have the latest version of the flutter currently we are running the uh, flutter version of 3.7.0 and also we have enabled the material package so i guess that should be fine and once we have this batch widget what we will do is uh, let us try to um, make the label first of all so it has a lot of the properties let us set the label and label will be of the batch count that we have and if the batch count is less than equal less than of the one then we don't want to show that this particular label so which means if the batch count is of a zero then there is no point of showing that particular batch but if it is greater than the uh, one then we want to show that particular batch so I'll just or if it is of the one or the less than one then I'll just return the uh, size box over here size box dot the uh, I guess size box right size box size box like a size box dot the string and yeah, else part 
we will return the uh, text over here and in the uh, text we will just return our uh, I guess we'll return our batch count over here so what we have over here is the batch count that we want to return or else I guess I can make use of to string or let us put it inside the string interpolation so since this is the uh, since this is an int right so we need to do the string interpolation and then once we have that another option that we can add over here uh, will be of the uh, let's have the child and currently we don't have that child let's go on to the top over here and I'll say final uh, widget that we want to get over here and this widget will be of the uh, child over here and we can just go over here and we'll just see uh, this dot the child over here and I guess we can make this one as a nullable type since it is a nullable all right so we can also pass it as a nullable and just make it as a child over here and uh, that should be fine I guess and also uh, we have an option for another one is the each uh, label visible so whether you want to show that particular uh, label or not so i can also add a logic over here that is to say the if the uh, batch count that we have is of greater than zero which means if we have one two three four then it is of a true or else we'll just say as a false over here so this will also say that do not show this particular label if the batch count is of the zero or less than zero currently we don't have any uh, option to uh, decrement uh, lower than the uh, zero then that should be fine for us and also what we can do is i guess this should be fine for us and i need to go to our button navigation and in our active active icon let's try to load that one over here so the uh that should be of the card batch sorry should be of a c a r t card batch widget and let us add this particular icon over there let's just cut this section and uh, inside this we have option to pass in the child and in the child we will pass in over here so uh, here we can do the same concept so that will be of the uh, card batch widget and let's copy this one from here and uh, let us put it inside here and that should be from the chil the child and that should be fine so we have added it and let's try to uh, reload our application over here and that should be fine and once the application is running you can just go to the card over here and let us try to get all of the list of the items on our card and you can see we have a batch count over here but it doesn't look good over here so let's go back and see what we can do for that batch card widget over here and that will be of a i guess we can increase the particularly the large size over here and for that one i guess we can say the if the platform each of the ios and i i have tested it's working perfectly fine on the android but uh in the ios i have a bit issue over for that one so for that i'll just check the uh, platform platform each of the ios if it is of the ios then uh, we can say we'll make this one something like a 20 otherwise we'll just say return the null from here so let's try to uh, hot reload our application and let's go back over here and now you can see it is looking fine over here so uh, we are just setting the large size and I, i'm maybe it may be working for you but it's not working for me so i just need to set the size on the large size for the platform specific which is if it's an ios that i'm setting the size is of the 20 otherwise it's of the now and you can try it out without this one if it is not working then you may have to use this option over here so once we have added that batch that should be good for us 
now if you try to add the any item from here so let's try to add a let me try to go down and let's try to add a new item to our card and you can see it is increasing automatically right so if we go and remove this one from the card so let us try to remove it and now you can see it it's updating for us and i guess that's all for this lesson and in this lesson we added the batch count for our card items so uh, that's all and let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day